S50 build. And this one will be covering the cylinder, machining that up and finishing off the covers, uh, as we said last time, using the actual cylinder uh, as a jig to machine the, the to finish off the covers. Uh, you'll see that in the video. And also uh, a simple way of, of uh, drilling the portholes, uh, the steam passages from the ports, um, for setting it at the 14 degrees, quite a simple way of doing that and rolling that in the bikes. So enjoy the video. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Again, any questions, please put them down below. Anything we can help with, and also any tips for anybody else we can pass on, please put them in, in the comments below. And we'll catch you at the end of the video. So, to centre the cylinder, put a piece of scrap bar down the centre of the bore, and then the four jaw chuck centred that, which gives you a pretty close to centre. You can see it there, yeah, it's pretty close to centre. Uh, what we do first is we machine off the face with the uh, cylinder covers that we made in the last video or we'll, we'll bolt to and then do the outside uh, the diameter of that is uh, 1 and 30 and 3 32s of an inch sorry um, it depends on your casting this one's a little bit out so as you can see there we've not machined it all the way around as long as that the it is down to to that diameter um, next thing we did uh, we bored it out um, to 5 eighths of an inch or just slightly under but about 5 eighths of an inch use the stiffest the thickest boring bar you've got that'll go in uh, so you get less chatter so you get a little bit of finish and just take your time doing a, a, a you know, light cuts as you go probably about 5 eighths eight at a time And then we put another piece of bar stock in the centre, um, and then what we did here, we to find the the top face, the where the ports are. Uh, what we did, we measured from the top of the the jaws on the vice um, to the top of the bar. Divide that by two, which gives the centre of the bar, and then we went up five eighths an inch to the port face and scored a line across there, and that's what we'll actually machine down to in the middle of the machine. Um, what I'm explaining here is when you're machining, if you machine pushing towards the vice, otherwise if you see the because it's on a circular on the parallels, if you machine the other way, you've got the tendency to actually push the piece over in the in the vice. Uh, whereas this way you're pushing solid against the flat face against the jaw, so there'll be no movement whatsoever. This is going into that score line that we did using the, the bar through the middle. Right, so we measure from the top of the bias to the top of the bar, divide that by two, gives the centre line, then went up five eighths inch, scored the line, scribed the line, and that's what we're machining down to. Again, taking quite a light cuts, probably about five though. We need about two fifty threads of minute on the other machine. That's the bang on uh, the line there that we scribed. Then we machine the sides and um, where it bolts onto the actual solar plate. Um, you get the curve of the cylinder just sits between the two parallels and then as we, we tighten it up it's on the flat that we've uh, actually just machined on the port face, holds it square then. And again we scribe the line down to the measurement doing exactly the same process on the top of the vise. And we've actually set uh, a couple of stops up on the front of the milling machine. You can do it by numbers because uh, you just want to fit it in between where the cylinder covers go. You can just see there the two two curves, the face of the cylinder, if you will, where the covers bolt to. You want to machine between that. So on this occasion, I set two stops up. You can just see them there poking out underneath the vice, and that way you can just uh, mach machine up to them. You know you're not doing damage to the actual cylinder. A little tip there, if you notice the vice on, we've also got the rotary table. Um, what we tend to do is we, we leave them both uh, on the bed as much as possible, especially the vice because we're using it a lot, it's set up square. 
and the bed, the bed on the milling machine is big enough to put both on so you can, you can leave both set up you know you're, you're accurate every time you come back to them This is drilling the holes, uh, exactly the same process we did for the cylinder covers and uh, the six holes on the top of the, the, top of the cylinder. Uh, again, starting off with your, your sender drill and drilling through. Now these will be 7 ba tapping size, which is uh, the, the drill will be 2.05 millimeters. And like we said, what we did, we, we sent it up and we came out, because my mach machine's metric, we came out, I think it's 11.125 um of millimeters and that gives you then your, your seven eighths uh pcd that you need for your covers this is going through now with the 2.0 i think it might be a 2.1 actually it's still close up your seven ba and these are down to a depth of a uh, quarter inch And then done that, so we'll come to the next hole. So then we'll rotate this round. Uh, on my rotary table, it's um, four degrees a turn, so it's 15 turns handle. We'll bring around the 60 degrees that we need. And again, centre drill, and then drill through every single one. You do that a total of six times. What we're doing now is we're doing the little recess for the uh, the steam passage. Now this is in between the two, uh, two of the the, the little bolt holes we just put in. Um, so what we did, we came to exactly the, one of the holes. And instead of doing the four, uh, sorry, the fifteen turns, um, we actually did it seven and a half turns. Because it's in it's in between and it lines perfectly up then with the. Uh, the steam chest space where the, where the, the steam passage will go and that's what we need to do, just machine it there and what we do we come off that, that inside edge and we come back uh, 760 floors and we're using a um, 732 cutter down to a depth of I think obviously on my machine metric I think it was uh, 2.4 millimeters Doing a plunge cut straight down. So like I said we put the tool, we put the milling cutter down inside the cylinder, just touched that inside edge. And like I said, came back 764 as an inch. That's the depth we're going to is actually 332, is just like I said, I think it's about 2.4 millimeters. Once you've done that, always move the, you can see the, on the X axis, just move it across because you can find a lot of uh, million cutters to actually have like a recess in the middle and it'll leave a pip if you don't do that. 
So as long as you move it off, you're getting a nice clean finish to the bottom of your drilling. Now this is the little thing we said. We bolted it on the, the cylinder covers that we made last time. We need to machine off this little boss in the middle. And like we said, what we we, we did is bit, instead of making the, the aluminium holders that a lot of like the tool cane series explains to do, this is a little cheat. We're actually using the cylinder as the holder. So we bolted on with these little 7 VA bolts and just machine this down to size. And what I've actually done, if you look just where the parting tool is, you can see a little metal rod there. That's my actually my back stuff I've made. <coughs> Excuse me. So the back stuff I've actually made for my lathe. So I've set it to the, uh, I think it was 316th. I'll have to double check the plan. Um, but then it, it goes at, it, the back stuff stops it. That's 316th away from the front of the, the cylinder cover. So I'll just machine that down to bring it down to length. And I said it's a little cheat we, we did to, to save making that holder. And to get that with cast iron as well, as you get somewhere near it's quite thin, uh, it just breaks off. We just finish off the face now, it's a nice, nice finish. And that's the cylinder cover, do exactly the same with the other, with the, with the rear cover, machine that down to size as well. Last job on the cylinder now is to drill the holes through um, to the port in the uh, steam chest. Now these are drilled an angle of about 14 degrees to meet up from a little recess I've put on top of the cylinder there so the models and where the steam chest goes. <coughs> now the way I, I did this one, there's a few different ways you can do it. I did we've got these magnetic angle. Oh, you see that on the magnetic angle binders. Popped it on top, zeroed it, put it onto there, set it to 14 degrees. Tighten up in the vise, and that's it. And we sensor your drill into your hole. Sensor your drill first, and then drill through. I think it's uh, three. Yeah, three thirty-two's diameter. And we'll get on with that now. The thing is, when you break through into that like a port there, not only can you hear it breaking through, but you'll also see a little bit of cast iron dust just pop, pop out, so you know you broke through. So that's it, we'll do the same on the other side, exactly the same, and that's how we're, we're cylinder finished. There we go, job done as they say. A um, few little, little tips for you there, um, one was finishing off the, the covers using the cylinder, this is the jig uh, with little seven BA bolts bolted on to finish, finish them off both covers. And the other one is we used the, the four jar quite a bit. And once we got the, the bore machine through, um, if, so after we centered it with the, with the, the dummy piece of bear, uh, once we got the bore, we can use that to center it every time to make life a bit easier uh, to do all the other operations. And then the easy way of doing the 14 degrees uh, for the steam passes through to the little ports. Um, we use a, a magnetic sort of Finder, if you're a digital finder, you can use a protractor, um, which is an easy way of doing it. But using the two parallels uh, in the bikes to clamp across the flat seat, very machined. Um, that was just a, a simple op way of doing it. And there was no way, there's no need to using any other fancy ways of doing it. Just clamps across them too. Dead simple. Again, using what you've got, keep it so easy. So yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel. Like we always ask, we much appreciated. Until next time, you YouTubers, it'll be great.